Hi, Natalia. A customer sent me a security-related question the other day. What was it? They're using Cloud Run and Cloud Storage, and they want to increase security and prevent data exfiltration. Yes, they can use VPC service controls for that. Let me show you how. Thanks for joining me today, Natalia. What's your background? Thanks for having me, Martin. I've been a professional developer for 15 years. Now I work in Google Cloud's professional services organization. We're the specialists that help our customers adopt Google Cloud and solve their technical problems. Oh, cool. How many customers have you worked with? Uh, I haven't counted, but I have at least 25 customer tags in my inbox, so at least 25 so far. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, now, I can imagine you get many questions about security. Yeah, I do. One of the most common questions is the one you asked, how to lock down access to Cloud Run services, storage buckets, databases, and so on. And you can use Identity and Access Management, or IAM, for that, right? That's right. But if you already know that you will only access these services and buckets from within the project, you can increase security by blocking access from everywhere else. So even if someone has the right credentials in IAM, but they come from outside the project, they won't be able to access those services and databases? Yes, exactly. This gives you an extra layer of security in case someone steals your credentials. It also helps you isolate your own applications and environments from each other. In some regulated industries like finance, this extra layer of security is required. Well, I'm not in finance, uh, but that extra layer of security will help me sleep better at night. How would I set it up? Let me show you how to prevent projects from accessing each other's resources. I have two projects, Playground 1 and Playground 2. Playground 1 has an image in a cloud storage bucket. I'm going to read that image from Playground 2. First, it's going to succeed. And that's because you have the IAM rights for it. That's right, I do. Then I will turn on VPC service controls, which lets me create perimeters around my resources that protect them. After that, I won't be able to read the image in Playground 1 from Playground 2, even though I still have the IAM rights. Hmm, got it. So here is the storage bucket in Playground 1. I'm copying the URL for the object in the bucket. Then I'm reading it with gsutil.ls from Playground 2. That works, as expected. Now, I'll turn on VPC service controls. First, I'll edit the perimeter and include Playground 1. I'm entering here. The cloud storage should be restricted by the perimeter. Then I'll save the perimeter. So now you've put up a wall around the project Playground 1 so that cloud storage buckets can only be read from within that project? Let's try to access the picture from Playground 2. I'm going back to the project Playground 2. I'm running the same gsutil ls command like before. Now I get an access denied exception. That picture can only be accessed from within the projects that are in the perimeter. And Playground 2 is outside that perimeter. That's right. Mm. I like how VPC service controls uh, let me lock down access. But uh, Natalia, what if my production environment is a group of projects? I would want those production environment projects to be able to access each other, but I wouldn't like other projects, like my test environment projects, to be able to access those production projects. Well, VPC service controls lets you put multiple projects within a perimeter. Those projects can access each other but projects outside the perimeter can't. Here, I have a simple Cloud Run service running Nginx. The service is open to everyone. When I click the URL of the Cloud Run service, I get the default welcome message from Nginx. Anyone on the internet can enter this URL in their browser and see this welcome page. Now in the same project, I have set up a virtual machine. Let me open a terminal window to that machine. I will copy the URL of the Cloud Run service and open it using wget. My virtual machine was able to load the HTML for that welcome web page. 
And that's as expected, right? Your virtual machine is accessing a URL that is open to the public internet. That's right. Now, let's do the same thing from another project. In this other project, I've also created a virtual machine. I'll open a terminal window to it and run wget to download the welcome web page, just like before. And there it is. Very good. You can access that Cloud Run service from the public internet, from a virtual machine in the same project, and from a virtual machine in a different project. Let's increase the security of this Cloud Run service. First, I will change the Cloud Run service setting internal, which will allow access to it only from the same project. Now I can't open that URL from my browser anymore. I have blocked access from the public internet. Here is the terminal window for the virtual machine that's in the same project. It can still access the Cloud Run service. Here's the terminal window for the virtual machine that's in the other project. It gets a 404 error when it tries to access the Cloud Run service. That makes sense. Uh, now, how would you set it up so that the second project can access the Cloud Run service in the first project? Now I create a perimeter and include both of the projects in it. We can test the access from the internet, the projects that host Cloud Run, and the other project. As expected, internet still doesn't work, but the other project can now access the Cloud Run service. So these two projects are within the parameter and can access each other, but no other projects can. That's right. No other projects can access Cloud Run services in these two projects, and the public internet can't either. So even if I make a mistake in IAM and set access to public, the projects will be protected by the VPC ST parameter. Excellent. And thank you for showing us this, Natalia. You know, I should start using VPC service controls uh, to put up parameters between my projects. I think I would sleep better at night with that extra control, you know? I'm glad to hear that, Martin. Thanks for having me. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have questions for Natalia or me, please add them to the comment section. Also, let me know there if there are any other subless topics you'd like to hear about in future episodes. I read every single comment. Until next time.